So Eva is from Whole Food Warrior. She is a registered nutritionist, friend, a good friend of mine. She's sorted me out no end over the years in my health journey. I know she's been sorting Victoria out as well um, and, and helping us juice and eat healthy and immune boosting and all of that. So and now is the time really for us to really take care of our health, obviously, and to keep our immune system um, in, in good health as much as possible. So um, she's going to share some tips with us on how we can do that. So over to you, Eva. Thank you. Thanks for having me on here. Um, so I'm a brand registered nutritionist and for any of you that actually do like healthy recipes, everything I do is on foodwarrior.co.uk um, or the same for Instagram. Um, in terms of keeping healthy whilst this is going on, I'm going to keep it really, really succinct. The biggest thing to consider is nutrients. So where are your nutrients coming from? Usually it's from veg. We need 10 portions a day. Um, conversely, the biggest threat at the moment, aside from the obvious coronavirus, is actually the snack cupboard. Um, <laughs> if, you can put, if you can put a lock on that, I know everyone I'm talking to at the moment, their biggest problem is just like, oh, um, so I've been out for half an hour and then the other time I've just spent eating crisps or ice cream <laughs> or chocolate, which is delicious. But you've got to limit how much you're snacking. Um, which brings me to my third point very nicely. The biggest problem I have with my clients for keeping on track with nutrition is not having enough time. Guess what? We have all the time in the world right now. Make sure your freezer's are stocked, get batch cooking, and you can shove a few extra meals for when we are back on track and when we are back in work. Make them nutritious, so lots of veg, and that is literally it. Oh, amazing. <laughs> that was a quick overview. Thank you, Eva. <laughs> um, I know just to point on something as well about smoothies, because you're a bit of a smoothie queen, aren't you? I know you love those and you've got me into those recently. Would you advise that people, if they're not already having smoothies daily, to get onto those, those as well at the moment, if they can? You know, smoothies are just a really easy way to get all of the nutrients in. So if you think about having 10 portions of veg a day, really in a smoothie, you can probably throw five in and have it over and done with in the morning. Yeah. Um, so things like handfuls of spinach and frozen berries and then lots of different seeds and some protein. It's just yeah. a nice, easy way to get loads of nutrients in. Definitely. And I, I have the Super Boost smoothies at the moment in the morning. Um, and they keep me going all throughout the day. They're so filling, but I uh, put my protein in there. I'm not a cook, so I don't often, um, well, I, I've got no excuse now, really. I should, but um, if I don't have time to home cook, then at least I know I've had my smoothie for the day with everything that I need in it. And it's okay to use frozen, frozen um, fruit and vegetables, right? 100%. Just to address uh, the can you have a cake smoothie, very funny, but <laughs> we do not want to ruin cake that way. Matt. Cake is too good. Just eat the cake. <laughs> I was just trying to help Mark out, you know, like he was just literally like we were losing him for a second. So I thought, uh, <laughs> just kind of bring him back. <laughs> cake is life. Can I just say something that's keeping me going through this? It's Eva's juice, Eva's juice that you did mm. for me because mm. I couldn't do my own juice. Eva created me these cubes, so they're like ice cubes of celery juice, weren't they? I don't know what you put in them. Delightful. But every morning I'm eating these like an ice pop, right? So it's mm -hmm. like a cube of ice filled with celery and goodness, and it's amazing. It's an easier way of eating and drinking juice, right? Yeah, you should, you should just sell those during the coronavirus and deliver them to everybody's doors. They're amazing. Yeah. That's a yeah. surefire sure sure way to uh, make sure it spreads. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how, but they're just amazing. Absolutely, yeah. Now, I'm a big smoothie fan, and Eva does your smoothie demonstrations, don't you, at some of your... Because uh, Eva, I don't know if you know, but she's not only a nutritionist, but she does a lot of food demonstrations across the country at various food shows as well. So she's done big ones like Chatsworth and all sorts. Um, you know sharing the stage with some big names really you know mary berry paul hollywood i could name drop all day um but yeah uh, i'll do it because she won't do it but yeah she she 
you know, we don't know what's happening with this season, obviously, at the moment with the outbreak. And I imagine it's going to start and be delayed. But when it does finally get here later on in the year, I'm sure Eva will be on stage doing some shows. So if you want to find out about where she is later on in the year, or if you want to talk to Eva one-to-one for consultations, get a bit of advice about any of your personal health, um, where can they find you, Eva? On wholefoodwarrior.co.uk. But thank you for that, Jim.